Hi, Hi Kevin Coven. So today we're gonna do a video where I put you in sort of like a witchy makeup for Halloween. Yeah. And we're gonna talk about our favorite scary movies. I have Kind of like androgynous witch. Yeah, I'm not gonna do like a your classic sort of like pretty witch. I think we should do like lives in a classic pretty witch. Yeah, I mean there's so much like pretty witchy, like vampy yeah. looks out there. But I think we should do like lives in the forest is a evil witch who steals children. Great, my favorite kind. Like, <laughs> actually, like, kind of d undead and spooky. Like, scary. Yes. Cool. Like, the witch. Perfect. Okay, you take it. Let's take yeah. these off. They're hot. They're very sweaty. They are. And now, do I have witch hat hair? No, because a witch yeah. core temperature must be ice cold. Has to be. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna. Yeah, I have no idea what I'm doing, so I'm gonna improvise this. We'll see what happens. Let's chat about some scary movies. Well, you brought up the witch, which witches. is one of our favorite. Witches. Pun intended. One of our favorites. We saw this movie in theater twice because it was so good. It's so good. Don't you like Kevin Bacon, Six Degrees of Separation, like know the director? I mean, I don't know him, but I went to college with a girl who grew up with him. Oh, the is guy. he from like New England? Yeah, I think they're from New Hampshire originally. That makes sense. And I'm from Massachusetts, so it's just all New England fodder. You can always tell when someone's from New England. Are you or are you not? A knack. Cause like we just think about that kind of stuff all the time. I love the witch because there's like, I love any strong animal character. Attention kids, I urge you to accept me as your ruler. Yeah, you That do. holds a lot of power. I love Black Phillip. Yes. And you have, you have a Black Phillip tattoo. Yeah. Is he a gay icon? He's a gay icon. Yeah. For sure. We're gonna claim that. Oh my God. And you like the name Thomason. I love the name Thomason. I think it's great. It's like so fun. You like man girl names. I guess so. Like Philippa. Philippa. Yeah. Those are good. I like, I think they're fun. Maybe it's like the old spooky New England in me. What are we gonna do? I don't know. It's fun because we're just gonna make it up as we go along. Um, one of my favorite scary movie moments was when The Ring came out. And like, I think- Ringo. I think I was like just old enough maybe to see because it was an We definitely saw in theaters. Yeah, it was R-rated, so we had to be 17, right? You didn't know. know. We, I don't think we were 17. So then we must have snuck into it. They, what did they really care? They did it. My theaters. Wow. They did. I mean, they had the witch trials there. They're like, you know what? You're tests. right because I remember <laughs> going to see, I think it was Blade like one or two, uh -huh. which was rated R and I was too young. So we bought tickets to like Mr. Magoo. Classic. And before it started, I went to go to the bathroom and yeah. I think I forgot my ticket stub or something. So like I literally had to go because there were people checking. So I had to go watch Mr. Magoo. You magooed yourself. I got magooed. Wait, now that I'm thinking about it, I don't know if it is rated R. I feel like it might be rated PG-13. Yeah, the I think ring. it is, because it, it really isn't like that serious in terms of like gore. Right, but it was- it's just scary. Scary. It was very scary. We saw it like it was the night that it opened and like we had no idea like what to expect because we were just like, I think we were like even maybe going to see, what was that movie that the was? Grudge. No, it wasn't The Grudge, but it was like another one of like the Hannibal Lecter movies, like maybe called was like- Was it Hannibal? Red something. Oh yeah, Red, Red. The Red Violin. I can't, why can't I remember that? Um, dragon? Red Dragon. Red Dragon. Yeah. But we were gonna see that and then we realized that was rated R. So we were like, fine, we'll go see The Ring. Yeah. Because we hadn't prepared Which ourselves. Which is like honestly scarier. We had not, we did not know what was gonna happen. Yeah. We were so scared. Mm -hmm. We were like sitting on each other's laps, I remember by the end of it. Like literally people were screaming. Yeah. We legitimately thought we were gonna die seven days later after watching oh, 100%. that. And I got a bloody nose a few days afterwards. And I was like, this is, I was That's like laying horrifying. in bed, I cried. That's terrible. We had to have been. Our parents have no idea what we've been through. <laughs> we had what to have been. What they put us through. We had to have been like 17. Should I look it 16? up? 16? I feel like we drove ourselves there. Yeah, look it up. Let's see what this makeup is gonna end up looking like because we have no idea. 2002, so we were juniors. Yeah, so we probably we probably drove ourselves because I do remember that. Oh my God, what a time to be alive. And then but when I didn't die, I realized I really liked it. And then I like bought it. Yeah, and you can watch it a bunch of times. Yeah, I bought it when it came out. I like, went to Walmart and bought it. On the tape DVD. or a DVD? A DVD. So you don't even remember what we had. When was the last time we used a VHS, honestly? Not soon enough. There's something, the smell of the VHS. Do I have like something really awful in my chin? you really going at it. No, I'm like contouring oh, okay. it to make you look like <laughs> gaunt. Okay. I'm like, well, this chin is. <laughs> Do I have like a chin strap I need to know about? No. 
Nothing that I'm doing is I'm adding. I'm not taking away. There yeah. are, are there any like um, movies that you remember from when you were really little that kind of like stick out in your head that you don't really remember fully seeing, but you remember that it, like traumatized you? Well, like there's one that I like remember fully seeing that was like a scary movie for like kids that I loved because I like liked that kind of stuff. But it was um, The Watcher in the Woods. Oh yeah, was that with like Kyle Richards? Kyle Richards is in it as like a little kid. Is so she like the main character? Cool tries. Um, kind of. She's like one of the main characters. Oh, Big Kathy got her going. Big Kathy was on it. I loved that. It was scary. What's and it, it was about? like It's like OG Witch. Yeah, like they move to like a like a weird old house. I don't remember if it's for like, for what reason, but it's like t maybe two kids. I haven't seen this in so long, but I used to make my mom rent it every time. And like a couple times it wasn't there. And I was like really upset. And I must have been like three or four. I wonder who was getting it. At this like where we lived. I, I was know, but like you should have been friends. Some other spooky weirdo. But like basically there's like an old woman who lives there and there's something in the woods. And come to find out there was like this ceremony that was done like so many years ago. And like this woman's daughter named Karen disappeared. And like Kyle Richards character kept seeing the name Narek like written in the window, but oh. it was like Karen backwards. Oh. And she found a cat and she named it Narek. <laughs> but there's Narek. like some like really creepy scenes. This might even be like a Disney movie. I, like, I mean, it sounds know. like an episode of Are You Afraid of the Dark? Are You Afraid of the Dark was scary though. Yeah, it was. And it slapped. It was good. Oh my God, it slapped so hard. I mean, that theme song is absolutely horrifying. But it's also just like pure serotonin weirdly. Yeah, it is. My mom just told me the story that, cause we just watched Silence of the Lambs. And she just told me the story and she was like, I think you were there. She doesn't remember, but my older sister was there. We were watching Silence of the Lambs and when we were done watching it, uh, we realized that our hamster had gone missing or like escaped from the cage. Wasn't well, your hamster have like a very simple name? Like, everyone named their hamsters Hammy. No, they didn't. That's you. That's a you thing. Not well, I don't think Hammy is a unique name is what I'm saying. Yeah. No, I'm saying not everybody did because <laughs> I certainly did not. Well, yeah, you're like name, <laughs> name lady. Um, I would your never, love language is names. My love language is names. I can't imagine getting a, a beautiful baby hamster and being like, hammy. And then we have one named Snuggly. No offense to anybody who goes traditional and names their things That's like not even that. traditional, it's just lazy. But yeah, um, how terrifying is that? Yes. To like realize your hamster had escaped well, after watching Silence of the Lambs. Did you find it? My mom doesn't remember. I'm sorry, what? This is a made up story. Like you're, they got rid of your hamster or something. <laughs> you know what? I'd rather them tell me a fake story. <laughs> And know the truth. I also remember like being really not that little, maybe like seven or eight, and like walking in on my brother watching like Lawnmower Man. And there's what's this... Lawnmower? I don't think I've seen Lawnmower Man. It's really scary. It's... I think he like controls people's minds with his lawnmower. Yeah, <laughs> there's like one scene where he makes this guy like turn a shotgun on himself, like she blow his head off. Oh my god! And I saw God. that when I was like a little kid, and it like traumatized that me. That stuff like really messed. Like there are certain things that we should not have seen. <gasps> oh my god! You know what the scariest thing ever that I like that actually like ruined me for a, a long period of time? What? That episode of X Files. The one with, with Eugene, with who Courtney Stott, who's played by Mr. Courtney Stott yeah. himself. It's a two part of this like thing. That yes, he he doesn't he eat livers. Yes, and he can like squeeze through really small tiny places. holes. So I would like check in the bathroom. The screws on the vents. Yep, because he opened the screws. Yeah, from the from, from behind. behind. Yes, I remember this. Oh my god, that scared me so much. It's so it is scary. X, X Files theme song. Did he have like a, a cave at the mall where he like made like underground like, like a kind of cave? Yes, I yeah. It was like in like some like kind of warehousey looking like yeah. underground basement. It probably was at the mall. So now we can't go to the mall anymore. Nope. But that was like a super scary episode. And, like, yeah. and the theme song is scary for that yeah, one. Yeah. The theme song is scary for Are You Afraid of Dark? And then Unsolved Mysteries theme yeah. song still scares me. Yeah. Like the new, the, the reboot. Chills. I have to like kind of fast forward through the song because I I get, it's so, yeah. it's like PTSD. Like you can be watching it in the middle of the day. Oh yeah. And it's still so scary. But I remember like watching that and it disturbed me for like months to the point where it was like imposing on my life. So I- It was affecting you. Yeah, it was affecting How me. How old do you think you were? I think I was like 10. I remember being like, okay, Elena, you have to beat this. I remember putting it on, you're like, you're gonna watch this and you're gonna laugh at everything that scares wow, you. look at you, how intense. And you're just gonna laugh, like yeah. you have to. That's and that great. is how I operate now as a person. <laughs> <laughs> you just like dive head yeah. first into it yeah. and you're like, this will be fine. Okay. If it works for you. You know that thing of like, if you're upset and you just like smile and force a smile and eventually it will just like make you not upset anymore. Doesn't it like trick your brain sometimes? Yeah. Is there anything more painful though at first when you're like, 
I like it. <laughs> this is great. I'm having a good time. <laughs> Not. <laughs> oh my god. So like, wait, being scared around that age, like ten. That's like fourth grade, right? Like kind of fourth and fifth. That's yeah, like, yeah. we had like this huge thing. So like the school that we went to for fourth grade only had fourth grade at it. Um, Weird. Yeah. But in fourth grade, somebody did Bloody Mary in the bathroom. This is Crystal with Spirit News reporting live about the urban legend Bloody Mary. Like came in during recess, like somebody dared them to do like Bloody Mary, which is like when you look in the mirror and say Bloody Mary three times, like I'm not even going to say it. Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary. Yeah, don't do it. I'm just not gonna do that. And it became like a pandemic in the <gasps> school of like people would like go into the bathroom and like start screaming and be like, I saw Bloody Mary. And like, it was like, a, it went on for like weeks. And like the principal had to like come in the loudspeaker and be like, there was no Bloody Mary. It's not real. Like, so like all these kids were just like It was acting. like hysteria. It was actually probably like the Salem Witch Trials. It's honestly like a Lifetime movie. Yes. My mom says that it's all a stunt. They did it to themselves. Samantha will probably write a story about it for the school paper. Some people have no boundaries. Some people need to mind their own fucking business. It was like hysteria. This is like why we have stupid stuff like the satanic panic, because like kids are just trying to have a, like a fun time with each other. Yes. And then it blows so out of proportion. Yes. And then adults are like, wow, they, all these people worship Satan. This is why everyone's <laughs> being murdered. Like, there's no other explanation. Well, thankfully, that <laughs> it, it was okay, and everyone was okay. And so it just stopped? Yes, it just kind of like died down. And, like, if I were principal, I would like hire an actress to be Bloody Mary and like haunt the school. <laughs> I for mean, that time can you imagine like the kind of controlling who would get over the kids and we're like, right? Bloody Mary's gonna, right? Bloody Mary's gonna come. So smart. I'm just making you look like you have like the most bruised eyes ever. I feel like you're gonna like this look and you're just gonna, gonna wanna wear it for real. Okay, great. Cause you always kind of like that like shadowy. Gaunt. Gaunt eye. I don't know if it's like from like the nineties or what. Probably, you know, I only like stuff from them. We watched Scream recently too and like, it's crazy. I can't believe I watched that when I was like a teenager. I loved, I, the, we were younger than teen. We were like middle school. It's gory as hell. We love, I loved it. I loved the screens. I loved the, I know what you did last summer. Oh yeah, I think I like that better. Obviously, you know, my girl SMG is in there. Sarah Michelle? She's like my favorite of all time. Yeah. Um, I loved Jennifer Love Hewitt at that point. She was like my first crush before I realized that it was actually Sarah Michelle. Mm-hmm. Like you're like, don't tell me what to like yeah. after a while. And then I was like fake it and pretend I liked Freddie Prince, but thank God he started dating Sarah Michelle so I could like have pictures of them together. Oh, that's good. Even though I was so mad at him. Um. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I liked it better. I just think it's a more interesting premise and I really don't like Skeet Ulrich's character. Like I know that's obvious, but like, I think he's such an asshole. Like the way he talks to her is so bad. He's awful the whole time. I know, but like, I don't think I realized that no, as a young girl. Same for me. And rewatching it now, I was like, I don't think I knew that this was like this bad. Yeah, he's like so abusive and they play it off like he's normal. Billy, I was attacked and nearly filleted last night. I mean, between us, you haven't been the same since, since your mother died. Or maybe we were just young enough that like we didn't get that it was bad, but like it yeah, wasn't. Yeah, maybe older people understood, but like. Yeah. And it, like Matthew Lillard is so annoying. Watch a few movies, take a few notes. <laughs> It was fun. I actually like always liked Matthew Willard's character because I thought it was such a weird way to play it. But like, yeah, he, I mean, he's supposed to be annoying. But he has like some funny zingers at the end when it gets like really intense. Yeah, yeah. Anthony, how you coming, dude? I think I'm dying here, man. Yeah. That like help you kind of like go, ah, Yeah. this is fine. To break the tension. Yeah. But those movies are like, those Wes Craven movies are like so fun. Yeah. They're like, they're just like odes to scary movies. Yeah. And like, while they are like kind of gory, like you do, like you do feel that there's like, it's surreal in a way. Like there is like this element of like, this isn't real. But then like, it is. No, because like, <laughs> I, when I was watching it, I, like, cause I, I listened to so much like true crime podcasts and like read about so much true crime. Uh -huh. I was like, I don't know, I don't buy this like motivation, like what personality disorder do these guys have? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just like wasn't- The pathology it, the wasn't patho there. The pathology wasn't there. So I was like, this isn't, in this is not real. <laughs> even the backstory with like, spoiler alert, even the backstory with like his mom. Yeah, 
I'm sorry, Leaving that's a hard her dad. Yeah, that's a hard no. I don't know. He well because he would have to be like a, like a malignant narcissist or like a sociopath or but something. Like maybe he is. And then he got like Stu in on it, like and I don't know, like the Stu thing doesn't is that his name Stu? He like that like doesn't make sense to me. That, that he, he would be yeah, but he would be more it'd be more control. I feel like. Do you know what I mean? Like I no. feel like it would be. I feel like Skeet Ulrich's character would like exhibit a little bit more control over him, and I like don't get that vibe. Yeah, because whenever there's like a duo like that, there's always one that like has yeah. like, the power. Yeah, like, the power dynamic is still like clear. Yes, there's like some sort of weird thing going on. Yeah, I'm decided I'm gonna put like some kind of like yellow all over your face, I guess, because you're a wood you're a woods witch. Great, the witch in the woods. I be the witch of the woods. Oh, that was like just like the best. Not to I bring it back it. to the witch again, but like that was just like the true best. The tone of it was so great. Mm -hmm. The deep voice of the father really is like. Oh yeah, that guy has a crazy voice. Yeah. That, is that when he when he says I love thee marvelous well? Yeah. I love thee marvelous well. That's my little <laughs> voice. That's the lowest I can go. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, um, Silence of the Lambs is just like 10 out of What 10. a perfect movie. I don't even know that I feel like it's like a horror movie in my mind. Because it's just like go a good, it's almost like a true crime thriller. But in order to track him down, she'll have to match wits. I'll help you catch him, Clary. Believe me, you don't want Hannibal Lecter inside your head. With the darkest of all minds. Like, a, you know, it could be in a similar category as like, the Bone Collector or something like that. What's that one? Oh, Kiss the Girls. Kiss the Girls. That's a creepy one. Yeah. But like, I knew it was him the, the minute it happened, started. I could tell. And Kiss the Girls? And I was like, Kiri Eels. First of all, is it Eels? Eels? How do you say that? Kiri Eels. Eels. This Friday, he can be seen in Kiss the Girls, a movie that will scare the dickens out of you. Please say hello to the dashingly handsome <laughs> Wow, an underrated um, horror guy. Yeah, he was right? pretty spooky in that. But in I, was like, I, was, I was like, what's he doing here? And I was like, mm, he's the guy. Oh, well, he's in Saw, too. Oh my god, yes. Is he in the first Saw? Mm -hmm. he's he might the, be in the second one, too. He's the guy. Do you remember, Did you see Saw in theaters? Yes, the first one. No, I didn't. I saw it in college with like friends, like yeah. on, in like my dorm room. It was like one of the first things I remember doing with like my best friend from college, Shan, and we went to see Saw and then we like made it a thing to go see all of them in theaters until they got like really bad. They got weird. Okay, yeah. so this witch is having a problem with her liver. She's like super jaundiced. Oh, like no. she drinks- Too many potions? Too much potion. <laughs> that's where- <laughs> That's the direction that this is going. It's actually so fun to like do makeup and just be like, I have no idea where this is going. And that's completely- Creative freedom. Fine. Yeah, I like love it. But yeah, I remember like Saw was mind blowing when it came out. It was a game changer. They're, those are scary. I don't really like, um, I have to say that genre that much because I don't like, like tortury stuff. No, I'm not into it. Like I have never seen Human Centipede and I won't. The Human Centipede. No. I can go on about it. It's gross. It's so great. No. It's honestly camp. It's, I know that. I just like that, even thinking about it, it like, you know, you said things haunt you. Just mm -hmm. like thinking about what it's about. I hate it. I hate that. It's, it's so, so funny because like the visceral feeling that I have of thinking about it now yeah. in this year, 2020 is so different than it was like when it maybe 2014. Like it used to really gross me out. Now I'm like, what's a, what's a three person centipede? <laughs> and then obviously it grows in the in the subsequent. It does, right? Movies. I I didn't see the third one, but the third one's apparently crazy. Is that when they make like a whole jail full of yes. people? See, I know I know the plot points. That's that's all I need. But I feel like Human Centipede and like oh not um when like Saw came out, it was kind of this whole new genre of like torture porn movies, like Hostel. Uh huh. Or was Hostel before? It might have been around that same time, to be honest. Um, Hostel. Shout out to Bratislava, where it takes place, where uh my family's from. Shout out to Bratislava. We're not actually from Bratislava, but we're from Slovakia. <laughs> Shout out to Bratislava for <laughs> having creepy hostels, I guess. <laughs> She's gonna have a lot of eyebrows. I don't think she has time to groom her eyebrows. She's busy. And if she does, she just magics them. An eyebrow potion? An eyebrow potion. Is the negative for all the potion drinking just that I'm jaundiced? That's it. It's probably the desired look, if I'm being honest, right? I wish I had like fake blood and stuff. What about real blood? I mean, this is more recent, but mm. this is one of my favorite movies I've seen in a while. Mm. Is Midsummer? Midsummer is one. Of, yeah, it's just a good movie. I think it's so good. Yes, and honestly, talk about scenes that haunt you. That first sequence with yeah. the sister. I'm not going to give away any spoilers if you guys haven't seen it because you should see Midsummer. It's amazing. 
is absolutely chilling. Like you feel like the whole time you're watching this movie, you're like suspended yeah. from like time and space. You know what I mean? Yes. And then when you're done watching it, you're like, oh my God. And then you just don't stop thinking about it for like days. It really gets under your skin. There's, it's like a whole thing of like, you feel like, I think you're, they're on like shrooms for some of it. Yeah. So you like, the way that it's shot is like, you feel like you're like tripping a little bit. Yeah. It's like very weird. And the colors are like so. It's gorgeous. Bright and gorgeous. Yes. It's like so. The juxtaposition the of like yeah. how pretty it looks and how eerie everything is, yeah. is like so odd. And Florence Pugh is like so good in it. She's great. She's in other, I mean, I liked her in, um. Little Women. Little, is that? <laughs> little Women. They're not even, they're not even. British, little girls, but that's what that's called. Yeah. Uh, little women, <laughs> an American story <laughs> of the Civil War. And you know what other movies I just thought of that I love? Huh. The Insidious franchise. Oh yeah, the first Insidious yeah. I saw in theaters with my sister. Again, like oh let's go to the movies and like didn't really like whatever because uh -huh. it was the first one that really kind of came out by the who are who makes those jo James, James Wan. James Wan. Yes, James Wan. It, he, it was he has, like he like started a whole genre. Exactly. Yeah. It's I think it's so good. I like all the insidious. Yeah, me too. I like stuff like that, like kind of more paranormal. I kind of go more towards that than I go to like slasher. It's not the house that's haunted. It's your son. Yeah. Slasher was more like um, the 90s for me. And then I was like, ah, this feels like re like real life horrors. I don't need to know about it. Like I liked 90s slashers because they are kind of campy and they're exaggerated. Yeah. And they're not, they didn't cross the line too far in terms of like gore. I agree. Like I don't like too much gore. I just think it ruins it's it. It's just like, I don't like, yeah, exactly. Like either make it gory in a way that's like hysterical, yeah. like the Evil Dead movies. Like yeah. those are funny, but like otherwise, if you're trying to make it like realistic, like torture, I don't want to yeah. watch that. Yeah, it's too much. Like those those lists are like the most horrible movies you'll ever yeah, see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I can't even think of some of them. Like um, what's the one where? Yeah, like Hannibal Island or like something what's like that. What's it called? See, I don't don't want to know. Um, I thought of another movie. Okay. That had us going a lot when we saw it. What? The Pact. <gasps> yes, and a lot of people don't know this one. That movie scared the absolute shit out of me. It was scary because it was a combination of paranormal and real life. But basically this girl goes home because her mom has died to her mother's house to kind of like clean up all of her, you know, affairs and all that kind of thing. And instantly the home is like haunted. Like something is the, the foot. foot. Um, and she's like kind of this rebel type, like she has like a motorcycle. Yeah, she's got like, she. you can tell she's sort of like, you know, the black sheep or something, or like didn't get she a lot. She had a hard upbringing. Right. Slowly it becomes like her uncovering like a series of murders from like a serial killer. Do I give away? I think you guys should right, watch it. Like, spoiler alert, she's gonna like say what it is. Spoiler alert, if you wanna watch the pack, skip ahead a little bit. She finds out like that her mother had been keeping her, like her own brother. So this girl's uncle. uncle in the house in like a secret room, like behind a, like a false wall. And he, cause he was like a bad guy. He was like a sociopath, like yeah. a serial killer. And the pact was between this, these siblings, which is her mother and her uncle. And he was murdering girls and like their heads were like in the basement. And these daughters grew up in this home with this uncle the whole time. And there was like peepholes in the wall and he had been watching them. And the pact was like, he was never to touch them. And now that the mother was dead, like those bets were off. And the ghosts of the wo women that he killed were like warning her. Yeah, in the house. In the house. It sounds ridiculous, but it was very scary. It's so good because there, there's like a final scene. Oh my Where God. she like kind of makes the realization. Yes. In the house and he's still in the house. He's still there. And, love and the actor who plays him, I believe is the same actor yeah. who played the, yes. this guy. He like plays all the scary creatures what's, in like what's every, that Pan's movie? Labyrinth. Pan's Labyrinth. He's like the Pan's Labyrinth guy. So he has like this he like plays crazy everything. physicality. He plays the, the fish. Yeah, he's in all in those, he's movie, in like other scary stuff too. Guillermo, is it yeah. Guillermo del Toro? The fish one. What's the fish one? It won like Oscars and yeah. stuff. Yeah, Under the Tuscan Sun. Under, that's what it's called. <laughs> These eyebrows are sisters. They are not twins, but they're witch sisters. But isn't that true for every eyebrow? Yes, they're never meant to be. They're Mary Kay and Ashley. Yeah. You know that like when I found out that Mary Kay and Ashley weren't identical twins, I was like absolutely shook. Excuse me. Oh, were you in line? 
Brianna Wallace, messages please. And you know who told me it was a set of identical twins that were in like my dance class growing up? And they were like, at the same time, they were identical. And they were like, they're not identical. And I was like, yes they are. <laughs> Okay, now you're hyperventilating and that's not good either. I was like, no, they're not. They're fraternal twins. And I was like... Your whole world I was crashing like, down. They look identical, but they're like... But then you, they you realize that you, they don't. They but don't. they also look more identical than siblings, right? They look for... I would say like for sisters. Because we know Elizabeth Olsen is their sister. They look like a lot of like... Yeah, like, they could pass for identical. When they were babies, I'm sorry, but, like, those two looked so alike. Yeah, are you sure they're not identical? No, they're not. They're that's crazy, they're actually. Sure. I knew that, but, like, they're now that I think about it, that's kind of crazy. You, How often do you see siblings like that that look that much alike? Like, that's kind of... Wild. That's wild. Yeah. And good for them, because then they could play the same baby characters, and now they're billionaires, so. They walked so Cole and Dylan Sprouse could run. I'm trying to decide if I want to make it, like, kind of, like, ghostlier, and I'm just gonna go with it. Guys, we have no idea what this makeup is. It's just spooky. And then to bring it back to Buffy, I thought the the episode with, like, the silent men were was oh, really scary. Oh my god, that is the scariest Just because they're so scary looking. The gentlemen. Yeah, the gentlemen. That is so scary. And they, like, float around. Yes, and they're, like... Like, with that... Their that's sinister smiles. Yeah, that's absolutely terrifying. What's your, like, most scary episode of Are You Afraid of the Dark for you? Um, at the time, it was the Nosferatu episode. Isn't Dr. Vink in that one? With a va-va-va. <laughs> Vink's the name. Dr. Vink. The v, v, v. There's a Fink Street here, and we have to like say it every time. Every we drive time we drive by, have to. And I also like to say, it's Sardo. Sardo. Yeah, that's another <laughs> classic one. What about you? For some reason, like the episode where there was like a little boy who was cold, like really upset me. I was like upset that he was cold, so that got me. Anytime like when people are like um in pain or uncomfortable, I like really get like worked up about it. Oh, so. I'm cold. I was like, get him a jacket. And like at the end when like they opened up like the little, it was like in a tree stump or something. Yeah. And she's like, he just wanted his sweatshirt. I was like, oh my God, he just wanted his sweatshirt all this time. He was cold. Like I was so upset. Poor little guy. I got like that kind of stuff messed me up. I love that I like, go to put this on her, her reaction to me putting something on her lips is to go like this. I'm like, no. <laughs> oh no, no, I don't want that in my mouth. Like, I don't want it. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> but I feel like Are You Afraid of the Dark is so not scary. Like, how hilarious no, is so Multi scary. Rouge? The one where she has, like, a, a horse? Yeah. Does it, she becomes, like, a dead person, right? Yeah. She, like, puts on her, like, r riding jacket. Yeah. And walks through that huge window thing that, like, yes. what was that house? Into, like, a steamy back-in-time scene. Yeah. Oh, I just For gave horse you, girls. I just gave you, oh, we just what? You did? <laughs> I'm trying to like make your nose like a weird shape. Every time you go to my mom's house, you watch The Bad Seed though. So that's really good. <laughs> and that's a good, that's a good scary movie. Oh, like old school scary movies like that and Rosemary's Baby, oh, yeah. which is one of my favorites. Do you think Rosemary's Baby is more known for um, being scary or for her, her haircut? Maybe being scary, but mm -hmm. that haircut was iconic. It's so iconic. And it was Vidal Sassoon who did it. And she actually like says his name in the movie. I believe she's like, it's Vidal Sassoon. I've been to Vidal Sassoon. Very cool. Like yeah. Vidal Sassoon like invented like haircuts basically because up until then people were um get the permanence. Getting perms <laughs> and like wash it like getting their hair set and then they would just like wear it like that all week. And he was like the, like he invented like the wash and go style. And that that's this for this episode of hair history. Imagine just like like that's such a cool thing to be like, I'm gonna change ex like how hair is done completely. Like that's so crazy. Why do I feel like that's like some big Capricorn energy to like be like, I'm gonna invent a whole new way. Is he a Capricorn? I don't know. Look it up. If he is, that would be crazy. I just like get Cap vibes. Jocelyn. What? He's a Capricorn. I, I knew it. I knew it! January 17th. That's, it's Cap energy for me. Would you look at that? Would you? Have a look. Okay, I relegated and let your girl have a touch of the smoky. Just a touch. Okay. She's is definitely like, got- She uses charcoal. She definitely has like a burnt stick out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> look it up. We went through like a big scary movie watching phase like when we first started dating. Yeah, we did. We're always on the lookout for like a really good scary movie that's like got ghosty stuff in it because like it's for some reason like easier to sleep 
with that for me. Cause like, I don't know, people like breaking in is like so much scarier. Oh my God. The movie, The Strangers, speaking of breaking Oh, that is so scary. I saw that's that like in theaters actually, too. That's like so scary. Oh, in theaters, that's a nightmare. And I like wanted to die the whole time. And also, you know what's scary? Like funny games. Oh, I, I won't watch that one. Like that kind of stuff is really scary to me. That's not for me. The home invasion, like torture. It's a lot of like, um, all those movies are very like uh, class based though. They're like class commentary. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, look at you. What are you like a film studies major? <laughs> I'm really just listening to Molly Snorlong. This, like, this is like a face massage. Let's put a little bit of something gross on your lips. It's so funny to like do your makeup like, oh, you hate this? <sighs> oh, you just got on my tooth. <laughs> it didn't. It touched my tooth. You touched my child. Your tooth is fine. Stop moving. Why do you have to do it inside my mouth? Because I'm trying to make your mouth look like bloody. Okay. Guys. See what I have to deal with. Every, this happens when I do her makeup for like every Halloween. You're literally, and then afterwards you're like, I love it. <laughs> Although this one's very weird. We have no, we have no reference. It's just going, we're going odd. And I, I kind of like it. Yeah, you like it? I mean, I think it's super fun. What's something that you like always wanted to be for Halloween, but like you haven't been yet? Probably like a really elaborate vampire. Oh, like a full on one? Mm -hmm. What about you? Like, I absolutely don't want to be this now, but there was like a long period of time where I was like, well, I wanted to be just like a rabbit for Halloween. Mm -hmm. And like, it would just like, it's just gravitationally like not possible to do. <laughs> like no, like the gravity is impossible because she's a cartoon. I think I should do like some like greens throughout, like, and kind of do like an homage to like classic green witches. Cause like they're dead. Yeah, like um, what's... they're not, but like why are which is green? Like, what's that about? Like, what's that old chestnut from? Like, it, I mean, is it that just because they're pure. Is it just because they're pure? I don't know. Let us know. Comment below. <laughs> let, us, let us know. I was gonna say like Sigourney Weaver and Alien when she uses like the huge like machine thing. Oh my gosh, Alien is actually so scary. Yeah, that was one that like really scared me. Oh my god, The Exorcist. The Exorcist was not scary to me. I don't know, you must have just like watched it. No, I was raised not religiously. So it like I did not connect with anything for me. If it's more me. scary, yeah. It's very, I thought it was like, so, but I watched it like by myself and like that was scary to me. Like honestly, for someone who was raised pretty much like atheist, watching that movie is just watching a movie about like a girl that's really sick. <laughs> She was very sick. But like, that's it. You know what I mean? Like it doesn't, yeah. it's not like loaded. But like, it could be like, do other possession movies not scare you either? Like demonic possession in general? Like we've it seen depends some. On, it depends on if it's like, you know, jump scary. Like the exorcist doesn't really have any of those gimmicks really to Yeah. Me. Like the scariest, like visually things are like her throwing up and like the walking and she just down says the stairs. Like, yeah. And she's like, okay. And she says like very awful shit. She broke her back, you know, making that movie. Wasn't she young? Yeah, she was young. Like the thing that like on the bed that like flung her up, which they probably oh should God. have used like a like dummy. <laughs> That's terrible. I believe it's true. And like, apparently like the set was like very cursed. Like a lot of weird shit happened on set. That's so cool. Cool and terrifying. She hates this. Look how she recoils from my touch. <laughs> this is the true horrors. All right, let's see. Okay, Are you done? I feel like I could keep, I could honestly like add, add, add on. You know what? Let's just give you a little bit of boy brow. That's so funny. Let's finish. And to finish it off. Let's just finish it off with, let's just make these brows totally wild. This is actually one of my favorite tips that I'm just gonna throw out here. Back comb your brows with boy brow. Let it sit while you do the other brow. Back comb them. This coats them on both sides so you can actually place them where you want. Cause I want them to kind of go up more. So now I'm combing them up and they will stay up better. And that's not scary at all. Okay, let's put your witch's hat on it and take a final look. Oh, fun. Show the people at home. Do I look scary? You just look kind of like a dead, like a dead witch. Oh wait, let's get like a gross wig. Be right back. Should I go to the freaking grocery store? <laughs> Where are my wigs? <laughs> my, my fire. This look is so funny. All right, so we were looking for wigs and I had to pull this out because this was in there too. I just had to show these. I've had these for- I love watching you maneuver with these fingers. Fright Fest, Nickelodeon. The orange tapes. We don't even have a way to watch these. No, but... I just like have to have, I just have uh, to keep are them. Are you afraid of the dark? I've had these since like I need to see 90s. what episode this is. The Tale of Cutter's Treasure. Then a classic snick. 
amazing. Wait, what's on the snack? Clarissa, Are You Afraid of the Dark, Roundhouse, and Ren and Stimpy. This was like With a, a special part. piece. This was a two part one. Yeah. A two part beat. Um, are You Afraid of the Dark, which was like very, it was very creepy. Very exciting. Thanks for watching. We want to hear about your favorite scary movies or scary shows or scary things. Tell us all about it. We want to hear it. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Get away from me. <laughs> okay, wait, like without the lights, you look even worse. <laughs> Hi, um, yes, I'm looking for some brains.